y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Sharita and the name of my channel is unique by Sharita welcome so in today's video it's going to be a compilation of several different videos I'm not even sure what videos I'll be including in this video but this is my way of getting caught up but the first thing I'm going to do in today's video is paint my office and we are going to be painting this room but before we get started i need to remove as much as i can in the space as well as maybe cover a few pieces and things like that and this room has carpet so i have to paint it in such a way where the paint is not getting on the carpet so I removed the majority of the items and I'm going to be patching some of the holes. I don't have a lot of nail holes in the space, but I definitely need to patch any holes or any little scuffs that I may find on the wall. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to paint the room and I'll come back in just a second or a minute or two and update you all on what's going on next. Oh, and a quick disclaimer, you're probably going to see three, four, maybe five different outfits and maybe two or three hairstyles. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned. So I've been painting and repairing my little nail holes for quite some time. And with doing all of that, I have learned some techniques and I have taught myself my own techniques. And one of the techniques I've come up with, it may have been around, I don't know, but I know I started doing it and it worked. It worked great. So instead of sanding my nail hole repairs, I just take a wet towel and wipe across it because I do not want to change the texture of my wall with sanding it for such a small hole. So I just take a towel and wipe it. And I'm showing you in a really fast um, video, but technically I'm just wiping it and rinse, I'll rinse the uh, towel out and I'll come back and wipe it again. I've even used Clorox wipes for this. So anything you can wet and uh, wipe the wall down, wipe the little spot down is perfectly fine. So the color I'm going to paint this wall or this room is going to be Sherwin-Williams Urbane Bronze. I absolutely love that color. It is considered to be a rich color to me, and it really has a hint of brown and green in it. It just depends on your lighting. Either way, it's going to look rich if you like dark colors. I've had this paint color in my home for probably 10, 11 years, and it was voted 2020, 2021, uh, somewhere around there, Sherwin Williams color of the year and it's still a pretty popular color now I must admit when I chose the color it was not popular and then seemed like after I got it I started seeing it later on in the years and I was like we obviously picked a really nice paint color and as you can see I am not using any tape I have improved my technique and of course, with that technique comes your equipment or supplies. And I'm using a slanted paint brush. That is the key to making sure that you do not get paint in the areas that you don't want it. Every now and then, I must admit, I do hit a corner or two. But for the most part, I have gotten so much better with painting uh, edges and corners and all of that without using tape. And of course your roller matters also. I'm using a 
paint roller that is made for semi smooth walls so uh, if i had more texture then you want to change the type of roller and also a lot of people don't know you're supposed to rinse majority of the paint rollers i've used they do say rinse with warm water or with water uh, to loosen up the uh, paint roller then you just dip it in the paint of course there are so many tools to use but i've gotten used to the way i paint and it works for me so one of the days i was painting and i used this pole extender and it has been the best thing going now it becomes a little difficult to use when i don't have enough space to uh step all the way back so i'll get creative and i'll go up and down the wall turn the handle more towards the ceiling and i'll do it in such a way that i'm actually getting it done just like i did here so i don't have enough room to stretch all all the way back but i'm still able to uh extend my reach and get that paint on the wall so uh with all of that being said i did go ahead and paint all of my trim in the Sharon Williams Urbane Bronze in the semi-gloss finish. Now I do need to come back later and I'm going to paint the window trim. I didn't do that with all of my painting. I just did the areas. Actually, I didn't do it because I ran out of paint. So it still looks good for now. And it works because we do have uh, those white blinds hanging. So it makes it where it doesn't look like that isn't the way it's supposed to be. But for now, we'll leave it. And we are in August and I participated in Christmas in July over on Instagram. So if you remember my tree that I had up in my office last year, I'm not even sure if I showed it, but if I didn't, guess what? It's still put together in the attic and I'm just going to bring it out and uh, put it up for Christmas in July. And I'm actually going to leave it up until Christmas. So this one, this is one less tree I'll have to decorate. And I was lucky to be able to lay it in the uh, attic without taking it uh, apart. So I pretty much broke it down, but I was able to leave all of the ornaments on it and I did have it covered with a moving blanket. So here's the tree and here is the way the space is looking. Like I said, I did share the space on Instagram and I absolutely love the way the space Getting looks. The selection from so on this day, I did a couple other list. things and one of the things I did was hang this beautiful decorative piece above my bed and i absolutely love it i purchased it from i believe bed bath and beyond and i absolutely love it and this is a light uh that i'm opening it's actually an alabaster lamp really nice material i did a collab with a company on instagram again and i'm sharing it uh, in this video. Really lovely, lovely. I put it there for now, but I actually moved it into the hearth, hearth room. You'll see that in another video. It's a gorgeous lamp. Now in the entryway, I told y'all we got a lot going on in this video. Not a whole lot of decorating, but a lot of projects are getting done. All right, so I'm going to take down this light fixture this beautiful chandelier i absolutely love it but i wanted to put the bubble chandelier in here and i think either way i can't go wrong but the bubble chandelier definitely was not working above my kitchen table so therefore a little bit of light a little bit of glow because that's all the light that it puts out just a little glow it will work somewhere like a bathroom or even my entryway so i'm going to swap out these chandeliers now i do have to admit i did do all of the hanging of the chandelier and all of that by myself and my husband did come in and help with holding the bubbles up because i didn't want to remove them so he helped me with that part off camera so let's go ahead and hang this uh chandelier and this is really a the simplest light fixture to hang if you're just getting started because it's not heavy and it is just a simple pole so I hate hanging 
those light fixtures that are um, somewhat, um, I guess, huge or even shaped different because it makes it hard to hold. But this one, it literally, the cord that I use to connect it all, it literally held it up for me without any help. So of course my bulb was blown. So before I close any of the housing, I wanted to make sure that the light does work and it did and this is another thing that i have gotten used to doing sometimes i really don't like to do it but sometimes i want to make a change and i don't want to keep asking my husband hey baby come hang this light and i definitely don't want to pay someone to to hang a light fixture or chandelier especially if it's something that does not require rewiring i'll do it myself or have him do it so we got it done and it's up and it works. Just a little bit of glow, warm lighting in this area. So at night it looks gorgeous. And here it is, had to put a few more of the bubbles back on. All right, so that is it everyone. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button, turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. And be sure to turn on that notification because I do have some videos that I'm going to be rolling out and I don't know when. I need to get back on schedule. What do y'all think? Because I do miss you guys. So I'm going to start popping these videos out and getting caught up. So I just wanted to share all of this that I just shared. So we'll be ready for the upcoming videos. Feel free to like, share, and comment because I need that motivation sometimes too. I've been holding a few videos back. I still have to share my closet. That is done. I just need one more piece to have that area completed. So I just wanna thank y'all for coming back and checking for my videos. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.